Lung cancer is the second most common type of cancer. Unfortunately, more people die of lung cancer compared to colon, breast, and prostate cancers all combined. That's because lung cancer is usually detected late when it has grown in size or spread and is harder to cure. But we can make things better. The best way is to avoid things that cause lung cancer. And secondly, do screening tests in people who are higher risk to detect when the cancer is in its early stages. The number one reason for developing lung cancer is smoking. Nine out of 10 lung cancers are associated with smoking. The more the exposure, the higher the risk. So the most important thing you can do is to never smoke. And if you do smoke, try your best to quit as soon as possible. After quitting, the risk of lung cancer starts decreasing with every passing year. And by 10 years, the risk is half compared to when you were smoking. Remember, it's never too late to quit. Quitting will save you from all different types of cancers and many health problems. An early diagnosis of lung cancer is important for successful treatment. The United States Preventative Services Task Force recommends annual screening in high-risk people using a CT scan of the chest. Unfortunately, a simple chest x-ray is not sufficient to detect small cancers in the lung, which is why we use CT. It is recommended for people between 50 to 80 years of age who are current smokers or if it has been less than 15 years since they quit smoking and have 20 or more pack years of smoking history in their life. Pack years is a way to assess how much a person has smoked in their life. To calculate pack years, multiply the number of cigarette packs a person smoked per day by the number of years of cigarette use. For example, a person who smokes one pack per day for 20 years has a 20 pack year history. If someone smokes half a pack for 40 years, that would also be 20 pack years. For people who meet these criteria, a yearly low radiation CT scan of the lungs should be performed. You can stop the testing if it has been more than 15 years since quitting smoking. Although getting a CT scan every year might seem like a lot of radiation, with advances in medical imaging, the amount of radiation from each scan is now much lower and much safer. On the CT scan, we look for any abnormal spots or nodules that may be concerning for cancer. Most people will not have any nodules, which is good, but at times we find spots that need to be evaluated further. Having a nodule does not always mean it's cancer. Depending on its size, shape, and location, the expert doctors may recommend keeping a close eye on it with repeat CT scans, or they may consider a biopsy to obtain a sample or a surgery to remove the affected part. Although dealing with the results of the screening CT scan may seem stressful, it is important to know that if a spot ends up being cancer, then it can be taken care of at an earlier stage and we have more chances of cure. Keep in mind, even if your first CT scan is normal, new spots can still develop with time. So you should continue screening every year as long as you are still eligible. Ask your lung doctors if you have any questions. By avoiding smoking and obtaining appropriate screening tests, we can save many lives. Let's be grateful for the gift of health.